I wanted to talk today <clears throat> to everybody about um, just in general uh, trying to feel better. Um, I've been through some accidents um, last year, a uh, year and a half ago, I guess. Um, I was in, a, I felt we were driving a haul truck and uh, we slid into a really deep hole, like about a six foot hole. Almost flipped us over. I jerked us really hard. Um, it whiplashed me at an angle, herniated three of my discs in my neck. Um, since that lovely incident, I've had a lot of headaches, um, you know, mobility problems, um, dizziness problems. Uh, every once in a while, you know, about a year ago, I would get like this tremendous feeling, a tremendous weight around my neck, you know, in my chest. and I would want to collapse. Um, and a couple of times I, I fell into the stove. I, it was, I had my head down. I just crashed into it and sat down on the floor so I didn't bust my teeth out. So, um, anyway, I, uh, <clears throat> if you're going through, um, <clears throat> injuries and things like that, one of the best things to do, <clears throat> excuse me, is, uh, Make sure you're taking um, plenty of um, good nutrition into your body and take supplements, um, good supplements, and uh, make sure that uh, that you're not overeating. Uh, sometimes if you have back problems or hip problems, even knee and ankle, um, the best way to deal with them is to cut weight. Um, the best ways that I found to cut weight was doing uh, HIIT training um, and also, uh, eating a, um, meat-based diet, which was 80% for me. Um, some people eat more, some people eat a little bit less. Um, I found that 80 to 80, 20 was perfect for me. So that's where I'm at with that. Um, with diet anyway, um, as far as like the meat base goes, it's mostly red meat. Um, I eat eggs and I also eat, um, all kinds of berries in a smoothie. And I eat a small smoothie, about 12 ounces, um, every day, pretty much. Not every day, but probably five days a week. Um, that has pea protein in it. But I eat five different, five or six different berry berries for, uh, you know, just to boost my energy up. I put a tablespoon of peanut butter in there, um, one scoop of the pea protein, and um, about three quarters, uh, almost three quarters of a cup of all those berries. And, uh, I'm trying to think what else I put in there. Um, also, man, I was trying to think here. I put almond milk in it cause I, my body doesn't like milk itself, you know? And so I have, um, berries are a low glycemic index food and which means it takes a while to burn through, which is a really good thing for people that have prediabetes and diabetes. And I, I have, have or had prediabetes. Um, my sugars have been in a good area now, so I don't know if I'm technically pre-diabetic anymore. But um, also, um, uh, let me see here. What else do I put in that thing? Let me pause this for a second. Got the most important one. <laughs> now I take a, a teaspoon, a tablespoon of um, co coffee grounds, Folgers coffee grounds, and throw it in there and blend it all up and uh, gives me a charge um, so I can go do my workout or go run and feel awake, you know, when I'm going. So that was one of my, uh, this has been one of my issues since I got pre diabetes is the exhaustion thing. I, I just, um, Plus my neck being injured like this, they say it takes a year to heal up, but, um, man, I've had, I still have pain to this day and it's almost, honestly, it's been, it's been closer to two years. Um, I have stenosis and, um, I have all this other crap going on with my neck and I have a piece of a uh, disc floating around in my neck too. And, um, I want to go get stem cell shots. I heard they're like, I looked it up. It's like $700 a shot and I have three definite, uh, herniated discs that need them. Um, but anyway, I don't know if they're gonna have to clean up that disc. I read that they, it'll dissolve on its own, but maybe mine won't. 
you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not really sure. Um, but anyway, I'm trying to eat as healthy as possible. Get, I want to, I'm trying to cut weight. I'm down to like 232 right now. And, uh, I was 270, um, when I got, when I got the accident, when I got injured, you know? And so, um, I was doing wrestlers bridges and everything, man. And, uh, all, man, I just, I'd get done. I'd have really bad headaches and my neck would hurt for like, like weeks, you know, and I'd get, give me a strange pain, like a, um, strange pain all the way through my skull and out through my face. It was, uh, so I quit doing them and, uh, it was more of a dull pain. It wasn't like, you know, like you got hit in the face with a bat or anything, but, um, yeah, it was, it was just, uh, an uncomfortable pain. So, uh, I quit doing it, which is a good thing. Um, I broke my C3 in a, in a rough man contest years ago. Um, I was legally blind when I went in and I have a freaking really long neck. If you can tell, look like a, a freaking giraffe. So, uh, giraffity. Uh, um, so, uh, I'm just, um, trying to get down a little bit more lean. I'm, I'm thinking, cause I'm still, uh, I can barely see my six pack. So I'm thinking anywhere from 200 to 210 pounds is where I'll end up being. Um, and so man, the the more I lose weight, the better I feel though. I went and ran uh, 13 minutes yesterday and I haven't run in a long time since the winter time was um, so crappy around here. And I ended up getting a lung cold when I was training. So I didn't want to end up with uh, pneumonia, so I backed off. Um, but anyway, uh, since Christmas, um, I'm down twenty some pounds. But I'm uh, my goal is to hit, like I said, two hundred, two ten, and um, trying to get rid of this pain. Hopefully, the stem cell shots will work, um, and hopefully, that piece of disc that's floating around is dissolved. Otherwise, I imagine it's going to have to get taken out. Um, and then stenosis, you gotta, they said, you just got to keep taking NSAIDs and, you know, ibuprofen and, uh, acetaminophen, you know, so, but anyway, um, a lot of people, I've gotten some rude comments toward me, um, about, you know, that I'm not going to be strong if I just do calisthenics and, uh, you know, it's kind of pointless, um, if I'm not doing weights too, the thing is, is, um, I, the strongest point that I've ever been in my life was on a bar. I deadlifted 580. Um, and I had a little more, I could have pulled. So I always say 600, you know, to everybody, but, um, I definitely could have pulled 600. Um, I, the heaviest object I've ever picked up was a 400 Ford block. Um, had, it was fully dressed, had everything on it. Um, I picked it up to my waist. Um, the most I've ever benched is 315. Um, I military press 260. Um, I've done a lot of push ups in my life. Um, like I could do um, 80 push ups in 50 seconds. When I went to the police academy, I was. Uh, I hit 78, but I could do 80 on a, on a really good day. So, um, I just happened to be a little bit slow that day. Um, anyway, all, all this stuff that I've been able to do, um, after I got my neck whiplashed, um, I lost military press a lot. Um, when I, when I originally went back to press, I was doing 120 pounds. I mean, it was like something was wrong. Like I couldn't actually get my damn arms to move upward. And, um, I started doing half jumping jacks and for some reason it just helped me. And, uh, I started doing inverted shrugs that helped me too. Um, I was hanging upside down doing, uh, 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 cervical decompression that helped me a freaking ton too. Um, uh, I was having severe panic attacks with before I started doing that um, cervical decompression. So um, anyway, my, my thing back to that is um, I loved lifting heavy objects. I loved lifting weights and everything like that. But if you can't, um, calisthenics is about fitness. It's not about being big. It's not about being insanely strong. And another thing I want to bring up real quick is that most people, 
are not going to be like Eddie Hall anyway. So it doesn't matter how much you hope for. I've known plenty of people that just did calisthenics that were, you know, gymnast types or even just big guys that did calisthenics. And, uh, you know, they're, you know, there was guys that were wrestling that were just strictly calisthenics and they knew how to use their body and they, they move their weight. And, uh, they were very, very strong people. Um, when people say you're not strong, I mean, what are they comparing it to exactly? You know, um, functional strength, you know, I mean, um, even when I was skinny and I worked as a, as a hod carrier for bricklayer, um, I've always been able to pick up more than most people. When I was 16 years old, I was picking up more than most men into their thirties. Um, and I was skinny. I was 163. Um, as far as like, uh, if some things are, if you've got injuries, there's these things, there's a, there's a certain kind of, there's certain kind of stretches you can do. And you can also do, um, rehab stretches. It, it, you can do 30 second stretches, one minute stretches, and all the way up to two minute stretches. Um, and go into it easy, you know, stretch easy. You know, it's not about, it's not about, um, lifting, uh, or it's not about what I'm trying to say is not, it's not about, you know, really quick ballistic, uh, uh, bouncing type stretches where you hurry up and do it and then get, get out running. You know, it's not, that's not going to rehab you, you know, it's, um, you go stretch into it easy and then you'll feel better in the long run. And so, um, since I've been stretching, uh, cause I had osteoitis, which I don't know if I'm saying that right. Uh, basically it's where the, um, there's inflammation in the hip area, the hip joints and stuff like that. And the pubic bone. And, um, it, it originally started when I fell down the stairs in the winter time, I landed on my side and my pubic bone popped and, uh, just out of the blue, random stuff. If I twisted wrong or I was carrying something and I was walking with it, my pubic bone would pop and that, that sucked a lot. It hurt a few times. It didn't hurt. It just was kind of scary. I was like, Oh wow. You know? But, um, anyway, if you're trying to rehab something, stretch easy and stretch for, try it for 30 second stretches and see how you go, how you do. And then the next day, you know, do 30 again. And then maybe in a, <clears throat> maybe in another, uh, you know, a week or two, go to, go to a minute stretches, 45 second stretches and, um, stretch in every area, lay on your stomach, stretch and, and like in a push up, but keep your hips on the ground, uh, lay forward, you know, put your legs on each side of you, stretch and lean to each heel, <clears throat> <clears throat> um, stretch your shoulders across yourself, you know, behind your head and, um, you know, warm them up, do everything you can, you know, stretch your neck. Neck is a huge, important one. I mean, I never realized how much freaking pain, you know, I had a super tight neck from wrestlers bridges. I did them all the time. My neck was 21. Now it's 19, but I kind of think maybe my neck would have been broke really bad if it would have been less than 21 inches in that, that wreck we did. So <clears throat> I'm glad it was built up, but I think maybe it also caused, um, because there was no, um, I was lagging, lagging in, uh, or lacking in, uh, flexibility in a certain areas, you know, cause I built it up so tight that it was, it would just sit here like that. So, um, yeah, I think, um, try some stretches, get a better diet, drink more water, get some more sleep. Um, sleeping is really underrated. I know, <clears throat> I mean, I, I work the oil field. I know about not getting any sleep and working nights and doing oil field. That's a, that's a super treat. So, <clears throat> um, working like a hundred hours a week, stuff like that, that kind of sucks, man. I mean, it just, it's, you know, it's, it, it, it wears you down and then trying to get sleep and everything and through the day, man, is just, it's difficult. So, um, but do your best to try to get, I think men are supposed to get, um, six or seven hours of sleep and, uh, women are supposed to get eight to nine if I remember right. So, just get, you know, try to get as much sleep as you can, get some sunlight on your face and, uh, you know, just try to stretch out, um, de-stress, just do the things that make you feel better and hopefully, uh, 
hopefully some of this helps. Um, I've been and been through it for a while. So um, anyway, have a good day.